God bless you, WME family, and welcome back. We've been having such a great time sharing this powerful testimony from uh, uh, evangelist Daniel Davila. Daniel, God bless you. Welcome Thank back. You. Daniel, we have been speaking mm -hmm. on how God was working in your mm -hmm. life during those three months mm -hmm. uh, with your lung had collapsed mm -hmm. for the third time. Uh, God is, is, is shaping you. He's molding you. He's telling you, wait, mm -hmm. wait on me. Mm -hmm. and, and this is three months that you're having to wait. You're not preaching. You're just letting God work yes. in your life. Yes. You're just letting that relationship mm -hmm. grow and blossom. Yes. And and I like the way you described it. You said this was one of the the, the best encounters you yes. had with yes. God. Yes. Isn't it amazing that in a moment of pain you can have an encounter with God? Yes. 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 And yes. And, and I like what what Paul says. Paul says, "I am persuaded." Yes. Convinced. Yes. Oh. Uh, what what can you tell us about that? I mean th that that's in your your. There was never any doubt in your mind that you were going to go back to preach the gospel. No, there was no doubt. Um, I was convinced, persuaded that, you know, that no matter what had happened in that moment, that God still had my, a place in the table for me. But it was just the moment that I had to understand that God was working. And I had to understand that I needed to be still and know what he's doing or what that he is working. Because sometimes we want to act so prophetic. We want to act so energetic. Saying, I want to go. I have this word. I got to release this word in my spirit. I have this. I have that. People need to hear. But hey, hold on a second. It's not the moment yet. But be persuaded. Be convinced that God has not left you. He's working. He's with you. But you just got to wait, you know. But sometimes our desperation makes us feel that God is not with us, that God is not doing nothing. And sometimes when we do things in our home, we mess up the whole plan. We mess up the whole schedule. And now God's saying, well, see, you messed it up now. Now you, you, you went forward. You, you, you didn't wait for me to give you the green light. So when I say, God, I know I'm convinced and I am persuaded that um, you are with me and you're telling me to wait, and I'm gonna do that, God. I'm gonna wait on you. And I love what it says, keeps going, because it says, I am convinced, persuaded, that nothing can ever separate us from, the love, from, the, from God's love, neither death, nor life, neither angels, nor demons, neither our fears for today, nor our worries about tomorrow, not even the power of hell can separate us from God's love. So that's when you understand, say, you know what? No sickness, no infirmity, nothing's gonna separate me. But be convinced that God is with you. Be convinced that God is working on you. Be convinced that God is up to something. Be convinced that God is preparing the platform for you. So when you come out again, you have a testimony. You have a story to say. You got something to say to the people because people need to hear what God needs to say. So through your encounter, through your testimony, people are going to be blessed. I love what you said, Daniel. You said that. You, were, you knew that God still had a place in the table mm -hmm. for you. Yes, yes. You knew that there was still room for you yes, there. Yes. You knew that, that whatever you were going through, whatever mm -hmm. you were facing, mm -hmm. God was still working. Yes. I think there's so many people who are watching mm -hmm. that are facing a, 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 you know, um, a moment of pain in their yes. life or a yes. moment of struggle in their life. Mm -hmm. And they need to know that there's still a place in the table yes, for them, just yeah. like there was for you. Yes, yes, there's I still. I mean, that three-month three month wait period wasn't forever. Yes, yes. It seemed forever, Pastor Moore. It seemed forever like, man, God, until when? You know, and it started in October, September, December, until January, I started preaching again this, of this year, January of this year. So I'm like, I'm waiting for October, for November, December, but those three months were so slow. I said, God, I need you to pick up the pace because that's been our generation. That's been this moment because we're generation, we're human beings that we want things fast. We want God to move fast. We think God's like a drive through well, I want number one, God, can you give me my blessing? I want number two, can you give me two blessings? No, you need to understand, you need to wait because God doesn't work by drive through He works by process. I've often told people in church, sometimes it, it's taken you years to get into that problem and you want five minutes of prayer to resolve it. <laughs> yes. You need to, you need to really, really spend that time with mm -hmm. God and really mm -hmm. let God work mm -hmm. and really let God move. Mm -hmm. And those three months were, yes. were an amazing time for you. Yes. That's where God worked. I started reading the word. I started spending time with God. I said, God, speak to me. Sometimes I will bring instrumental music and God will speak to me. Nature will take a while. God, speak to me. And sometimes even in the silent, God will speak to you. Yes, yes. In the silent, 
Because sometimes we're so prophetic. We want to hear a noise. We want to hear something. We want to hear like a like like a noise, a like sound. Oh, a sound. Oh, God, say something, you know, confirm something. Hold on a second. Something and, God needs to be silent. And, and sometimes God speaks to us louder through yeah. that silence. Yes, yes. Sometimes when there's nobody around, that, that, that silence will speak to yeah. a heart. And, and I know that there's people watching right mm -hmm. now, Daniel. And there's people who, who may have not had a collapsed lung. They may have had a different type of situation. Mm -hmm. And they don't understand the moment or the time that yes. they're in right now. Mm -hmm. But we know that we have an awesome God. Yes, yes, We know that we have right. a mighty God. We oh, know that we yes, have a Lord. God that's present. And, and Daniel, I want mm -hmm. you to share a moment of prayer. And I yes. know that the God who raised you up can raise them yes. up. Yes. I just want to tell those people who are going through something, maybe it's not your lung that collapsed, maybe it's your marriage that collapsed, maybe it's something that collapsed in your life. But I'm just telling you this, just wait on the Lord. God knows what he's doing. Don't get ahead of yourself or ahead of the Lord. Wait, be patient wherever you are. Maybe you feel like Elijah in that cave, stay in that cave because God is going to speak to you. Maybe not by the earthquake, maybe not by the fire, but he's going to speak to you to that silent voice in the name of Jesus. I just pray right now that you have the capacity, that you have that, 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 that faith, that convince that God has not left you, but he's there working. He's giving you structure. I know when God gives you structure, it hurts. He's molding you. He's shaping your life, your faith, yes. your spiritual life. I know it hurts being in the, in the potter's hands. It hurts, but let me tell you something afterwards. Like Job said, you will come out as gold. You're going to come out as gold. You're going to come out blessed with new strength, new faith, new hope. God is doing something. He's getting ready to put you on top. He's getting yes, ready to do great things in your life. He's getting ready, hallelujah, yes, to Lord. give you once again that you needed that faith, that hope inside of you. God is getting ready to do something great. He's expanding your territory. He's expanding, enlarging your territory. But don't yes. move. Wait on the Lord. Amen. Wait on the Lord. Be still and know that he is God. Amen, Daniel. Yes, Lord. I, I know that God has touched many hearts right now. I know that God has touched many lives. And I want you to share this message with others. Uh, like, share, and go ahead and subscribe and, and help us be a blessing to others and help us push the content even further. Yes. And remember that these programs are brought to you by World Missionary Evangelism, yes. where we're preaching the word of God, not only in word, but also in deed, feeding the hungry, loving the poor, and preaching the gospel. For almost six decades, World Missionary Evangelism has been involved in sharing the good news of salvation through Jesus Christ. Going to many places where people have never seen a Bible or heard the Word, reaching out in other regions where Christians are a small minority, our native missionaries have fearlessly joined the spiritual battle to save souls and transform lives. Each day, people come to know Jesus through this mission, and they're baptized in His name. Those who are baptized become part of a Christian fellowship that impacts communities and brings light to dark regions. Programs like this prove that the evangelism in World Missionary Evangelism is not just a part of a name. It defines our mission, our focus, and is the heart of our work. Thank you for watching World Missionary Evangelisms, The Path with Daniel Moore.